Hey guys, just Vice here. So today I'm going to talk about a couple of decisions that you should make before signing up for a credit card or knowing when to pick the right one. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up, let me know what you guys think, and subscribe if you already haven't. figure out is what your intended use would be. If you're someone that just recently came to Canada or are an undergraduate student, recently just turned 18, you're more than likely looking to build your credit score. Now for this, you want to get something that's simple with no annual fee, a relatively lower interest rate, and a medium to sort of tolerable level of credit allowance. Through doing so, you'll be able to make your regular purchases, pay off your credit card, and build up your credit score. Another type of use could be building a rewards program. So someone might be more interested in getting points for every time they use their card, or getting miles for the next time they choose to fly. And finally, you could get a cashback credit card. Now this would be anywhere from 0.05 all the way up to 2%, depending on the type of card you go with you'll essentially be able to get cash right back to your card for every purchase that you make. The second thing you wanna figure out is what are your spending habits like? Now, are you someone that has to pump gas for every single person in your neighborhood? Or are you someone that buys makeup often, does the groceries every other week, or spends it on concert tickets, flight tickets, that kind of stuff? The reason why you wanna figure out what your spending habits are is because certain credit cards allow you to allocate categories towards your rewards. So for instance, the Tangerine MasterCard um, allows you to pick up to three categories where you can maximize on your cashback. If you are someone that does groceries, pumps gas, and has some kind of restaurant expense, you're able to maximize on all three of those categories and get the most cashback possible. Where on the other hand, if you're someone that has to travel frequently for work or enjoys traveling and you're someone that's always on the road, you may benefit more from a travel card that has rewards which can be redeemed towards another flight, train or rental car. Now that you've determined what your spending habits are and what type of a rewards program suits you best, you want to figure out what type of a situation you're in. So maybe you're a new immigrant to Canada and you want to spend according to your basic needs and build your credit. Or maybe you're in undergrad and you're still in school, you wanna make sure that you have a credit card for all of your immediate expenses. You want to find something with a low interest rate and something with maybe some types of perks for shopping. And on the other hand, if you're a small business owner, you may prefer to have something that gives you extended warranties, rental car coverage, or even some type of travel rewards. So now that you've picked your credit card, you know what situation you're sort of in, and you've got your credit card in the mail and you're ready to use it, you want to make sure that you are completely aware of all of the key terms that come with your credit card agreement. The first and most important one is your APR. This is the interest that's applied to your balance carried forward. So for instance, if you spend $350 and you don't pay it off this month, your APR will apply to that $350 credit that you owe, and that will be your interest plus your principal carried forward. Now the next key term you want to look at is your minimum payment. Now this is the amount that's fixed based off of a percentage as far as what's due in order for you to proceed to the next month. Often this may not be the full amount that you've used, but it's a portion that's set by the bank and by your lender for you to continue using your card. Now the next thing is looking at the percentages in your rewards categories. So for some credit cards, you may have rewards categories in multiple um, parts of your spending habits. So for instance, you may be earning 2% cash back on your groceries, but you may only be getting 0.5% on your gas purchases. 
So you want to make sure that you're fully aware of what your percentages are so that you can maximize your benefits. And another key term to look at are your fees, if any. So for some beginner's cards, they don't have an annual fee or a monthly fee, but for the more higher end rewards cards that often give you some type of an air miles program or more protection in terms of warranties, will have an annual or a monthly fee. You want to make sure that you're aware of these so that when that charge shows up at the end of the year, you're not surprised. And finally, any other perks or protections that may be included as part of your agreement are also good to know. Another key question to ask yourself is if you qualify. Certain credit cards will ask for you to be of a certain age or a certain income bracket or even a certain credit score. So for instance, if you're looking at a high-end rewards credit card, they may ask for you to have above an income level of $60,000. Or with getting a first credit card, they'll ask you if you're over the age of 18. You want to make sure that you've read up on all of the key information, that you qualify and that you're ready to go before you go and sign up for a credit card. So now that you've got your card, you want to make sure that you enjoy it, but enjoy it responsibly. Use your credit card whenever you can, but make sure that you're paying it off on time and you're paying it off in full. And finally, using your credit card will allow you to build your credit score if you use it responsibly. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you learned something new or if there's something that you'd like to share. If you already haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.